guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're getting ready to take a Blissy girl to get her hair cut, then I'm gonna come back, do some meal prepping. I have my gym workout on because I plan to go to the gym a little bit later today. I'm gonna book probably the four o'clock class, but I wanna do some stuff around the house before I do that. So we're gonna drop Blissy girl off at her grooming appointment. She's getting groomed today, and then while she's getting groomed, I'm gonna come back home do some meal prepping, and I know you guys love seeing like recipes. I'm also gonna be cooking dinner later, so I'll probably share that with you guys. So let me go ahead and get Blissy Girl, and we're gonna head out the door. Are you ready for your haircut, baby girl? Look at Blissy Girl, this is her before. Sit down, sit, baby girl. Sit, sit. This is her before, and we're gonna go get her a nice haircut. We're gonna clean up that face, right, baby girl? I'll share with you guys um, how her haircut looks when we come back. But we're gonna go a little bit lower just because it's getting so hot and we spend so much time outside. Right, baby girl? So we're gonna go a little bit lower than last time, like probably a half an inch lower. So that way um, she doesn't overheat when we're outside and stuff. All right, let's go, baby girl. You ready? Yay! <laughs> She's ready. Got my water. I'm also going to be grabbing a shake. So usually I go to Orange Theory first thing in the morning, but yesterday I went to the afternoon class and I actually really liked it. Like the energy was so different from the morning class. Like it was lit. It felt like a club at Orange Theory when I went to the four o'clock class yesterday and I kind of liked that feeling. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the afternoon class again today and it gives me time to like not rush around because usually I'd be rushing back, showering, getting blissy ready. So it's just really nice to kind of like do a slow paced morning routine and then I can go to the gym later. Which flavor are we gonna do today? We're gonna do chocolate, having my Owen shake. And then we're gonna come back. I don't have any lunches prepped out, so we're gonna come back in meal prep. Um, so that way we can have like healthy lunches for the week. And I found a really good recipe on Pinterest that we're gonna make. So I think I have to pick up maybe like two ingredients. I took the chicken out, it's in the fridge. Um, I think I'm missing like two ingredients. So I'll probably stop and get that and we'll come home meal prep and get that done. And by that time, Blissy Girl should be ready from her grooming appointment. And Bentley got groomed last week, so he is good to go. You ready for your haircut, baby girl? Blissy, Blissy. Hey, baby girl. Hey, come here, Blissy. Come here, you ready for your haircut? <laughs> a couple of items and end up leaving with a lot more than I went in there for. So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. Um, we're about to do some meal prepping. Looks like my sushi flipped over. This is Ryan's favorite sushi. It's the spicy tiger roll from Publix. This is how it looks. So he wanted that, so we have that. What else did I get? I got some feta crumbles. I'm making a like Mediterranean recipe. I'm kind of doing my own flair to it, which is what I do with all my recipes. Um, but it doesn't call for feta cheese, but I love feta on anything Mediterranean. So I'm probably going to sprinkle some on the meal prep. Um, I got this fruit bowl because it looked amazing. It's already chopped. It has pineapple, strawberries, grapes, cantaloupe. Um, some melon in here. It was only $3.99, so really good price on that. And then I wanted to pick up some new flavors of kombucha. I haven't tried these flavors. This is by the GTS brand, um, and I love this brand. This one is the Strawberry Serenity. That looks really good. And then this one looks amazing. It is the Raspberry Chia, 
and it has chia seeds in it. So I'm excited to try this one. And then I didn't want to get too much of those flavors, so I want to make sure I like it first. And then we needed some more black beans for taco bowls. I don't think we're making taco bowls tonight. I think we're making them tomorrow. I wanted to make sure I had the ingredients for everything. Um, and then I've one thing I've been doing since I'm like kind of focusing on eating a lot healthier this month is not doing the fattening coffee creamers that I usually do. So my favorite coffee creamer is the Starbucks one which is very high in calories so i switched over to the nut pods and it's pretty good it's not sweet so i like to add where is it at i don't know where it is but what i do is i add this to my coffee and i add monk fruit sweetener um if you guys are looking for a zero calorie sweetener try monk fruit um it doesn't have an aftertaste like stevia does and a lot of the other artificial sugars and monk fruit's like an all natural like sugar replacement so it's really good so i will do like two tablespoons of this and then probably just like a teaspoon or so of some monk fruit so i got the cinnamon swirl one which is pretty good and then i also got my other favorite flavor which is the toasted marshmallow so if you're looking for a healthy coffee creamer give this one a try it's not sweet just warning you it does have really good flavor to it but no sugar so it is only 10 calories for a tablespoon so great healthy alternative to coffee creamer. And then for those taco bowls, I picked up um, some shredded iceberg lettuce. We're not gonna do like the taco shells or the tortillas. I'm just gonna do a bed of lettuce and this is already shredded. So picked this up and I think we're gonna make this tomorrow. Um, I usually go to Aldi, but since I didn't need a whole lot of stuff, I went to Publix. And Publix is expensive, you guys, because everything I shared right here, I think was $69 and it's only like maybe 15 items, which is why I shop at Aldi. I could have literally gotten all of this stuff I'm sharing for probably $25. So definitely spent a little bit more um, today, but I needed these seasoned olives for the Mediterranean recipe we're making for our meal prep this week for lunches. So picked this up, this was $5.99. I think this was like $3 at Aldi. So go to Aldi. Um, and then we needed some cherry tomatoes. I got two packs of these, one for the dish we're making for meal prep and the other one for recipes for the week. Um, we needed one red onion and I think that's it. No, I got, what else did I get? I got some corn um, and one other thing. I'll be right back. And the last thing I got, I've wanted one of these for a while. I have a electric frother. Um, but I wanted a handheld one and I had it in my cart on Amazon. It was like $10 on Amazon. This was $8.99. So I just picked it up in Publix because it was cheaper, but it's just a milk frother. And I have like the big electric one, but sometimes at night when I'm just trying to like mix in like whatever I'm trying to mix, like my collagen or whatever, and I want it to be like mixed very well. And I don't want to have to wash the big one. This one will be perfect. It's not really nice. So yeah, that's everything I got from Publix. I'm gonna get everything put away. $69, you guys, like 15 items, that's crazy. But I'm gonna get everything put away and then we're gonna start cooking the meal prep. I had that shake this morning. I'm about to have some of this fruit. Sometimes it's just like really nice to buy the fruit already chopped up. It's like one less thing I have to do. This was a really good deal on this, but everything else was not a good deal. What time is it? It's 11.57. So Blissey's probably gonna be ready in the next like hour or two, which is the perfect amount of time to meal prep. Mm. So good. Also got this seasoning this is the Mediterranean blend Italian seasoning and since we're making the Italian recipe tonight I have Italian seasoning but I wanted to try the Mediterranean blend so I'm gonna try this on the recipe and see how that is and that is everything we got put the kombucha I got Bentley hey bit we're gonna take him out Good boy. Go potty.
So this is the recipe I found on Pinterest. Never tried it before, it looked really good. Um, I was looking for a fish recipe last night and found this one, um, but I didn't end up using it. I decided I wanna make this recipe using chicken. Um, it doesn't say you can do that in the recipe notes, but I always like switching things up on the recipe. So I'm going to switch the cod to chicken, um, and then I'm going to be doing some different olives. I'm doing the, like, the mixed one. And then it also uses wine. And instead of wine, I'm either gonna use like some chicken broth or chicken stock. I think that's the only modifications I'm gonna make, but it looks pretty simple. So let's go ahead and make it. Here's how the recipe looks. I'm about to pop it in the oven. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take because I'm using chicken. If you're using fish, it only takes 20 minutes. I'm thinking about like 40 minutes. Um, I didn't add olive oil like the recipe said. I just added the juice of the olives. And then it was quite a bit of juice. I didn't even add any water or anything like that. So I'm gonna bake it like this probably for about 40 minutes. If it starts to get dry, I'll add like a splash of some um, chicken stock. And then when it comes out the oven, I wanna top it with some feta cheese, even though it didn't call for that in the recipe. I love feta cheese on anything Mediterranean. So let's go ahead and let this cook up. I shared this over on Instagram, but in case you don't follow me over there, um, I shared this little green machine. I'm so excited to use it. I also shared some videos I found on TikTok, which is what made me buy this. It can do like a million and one things. I'll link it down below for you guys, but I want to shampoo my car seats in my car. I can't do that now because I have to pick up Blissey Girl in the next like hour or two, and I don't want to sit in wet seats, but I need to do it a day where I have nowhere to go, which... Hasn't been any day this week, so hopefully I can do it soon, but yeah, it just has like this powerful suction and it's like a little shampooer. You can use it on couch, rugs, any upholstery, um, car seats, really anything. So I'm really excited to use it. Um, it's currently on sale right now for under $100, so I'll link it down below, but wanted to go ahead and share it now before they put the price back up on Walmart, which is where I got it from. Um, and I can't wait to use it. I would use it today if I didn't have to pick up Blissey Girl. But yeah, I'm really excited to use it on my seats and it pulls out so much stains from the videos I saw on TikTok. All right, I got a package in the mail and I wanna open it with you guys. It is from Express and I love Express. I actually used to shop there all the time. I haven't shopped there in a really long time. Um, and I don't know why, because I remember loving their clothes, but I've heard so many people say they have amazing bodysuits and like just like basic stuff. Um, I usually get my body suits from either Skims or I have a couple from Skims and then my other ones are from Abercrombie, which are really good. But I love trying out different brands. So let's see. So I got some crop tops to wear with like high-waisted jeans. And then I think I got one bodysuit if I remember correctly. So let's open it up, see what I got. Oh yeah, 
So I got a long sleeve bodysuit. This is by their body contour line, I believe. Um, and I got a chocolate brown, like long sleeve one. Um, I own a chocolate brown bodysuit. You guys probably saw when I did that try on haul, I own the short sleeve, um, but I wanted a long sleeve too. Even though it's spring, I just still like wearing long sleeves until it like gets super hot. Um, and I got everything in a medium. So that looks like a pretty, we'll see how this fits. Um, but I like the material of it so far. It looks kind of big. I wonder if that's gonna be too big for me or not. Um, and then I also got, what did I get? Oh, I got some crop tops as well. So I had been ordering like skim bodysuits. I have two skim bodysuits. And they're amazing, but I feel like the quality is not as good as I would like it to be. I already have like a snag on one of them. And the only thing I did was pick Bentley up and it like has a snag. And that never happens with my Abercrombie one. So I wanted to try a different brand. So this is the cropped tee. Um, and it's in like this beautiful like greenish color, but it's definitely still a neutral. And I figured I could wear this with like white jeans or blue jeans. Um, and it appears to be really thick. Yeah, it's by the Body Contour Line. Smooth, sculpt, and defined your silhouette. This looks like amazing quality. So I'm so excited to try that on. And then the last one I got, so this is a really pretty color. Is this a bodysuit or a crop? Let's see, I don't remember which this one is. Oh, this one's a cropped as well. That is so, so cute. I really want to try these on, but I don't feel like it. Okay, I'm gonna try them on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some jeans, so that way I can really see how it's gonna look. All right, this is the first bodysuit, well, the only bodysuit that I got. I love it, you guys. First impression is it appears to be like amazing quality. Um, I definitely like holds me in. I wish the sleeves were slightly tighter, but other than that, like, such an amazing fit. It looks so cute with just like some high-waisted jeans. So good express. Like it's gonna be my new favorite store to get bodysuits. I love like the scoop neck and the material just feels so breathable, but just really comfortable. So definitely love this for sure. I will link it down below. Okay guys, oh my gosh. This body contour, like short sleeve shirt is amazing, you guys. I love the fit on it. It looks like a bodysuit. I didn't tuck it in, so I wanted to share with you guys how it looks, but you could tuck this in and make it completely seamless. This is so good. It looks just like the Skims um, t-shirts, but a way better price, and I'm sure better quality as well. This just feels amazing i'm not gonna try the green one on because it's the same as this one but i'm gonna have this little t-shirt on repeat i love that it's cropped but you don't have to show stomach if you are wearing high-waisted jeans and it's just so comfortable on the sleeve i seriously need this shirt in every single color it's like perfect going into spring but i love this and i would just like tuck it in to make it super seamless and i love the neck on it Oh my gosh, like this is amazing. So I'm so glad I got it in that like pretty green color. Definitely want to get it in every single color because it is seriously so cute. Okay, I know it is about to be blazing hot here where I live and I'm sure where everyone else lives, but I saw this at um, TJ Maxx and it was $29.99 and I just couldn't pass it up. It's like this beautiful like leather, like duster coat. Um, and I'm probably not gonna get to wear it this season just because it's already feeling like spring outside, but I figured I would get it for next year and I may be able to wear it like one time before it fully warms up, but it's so cute, you guys. Like I said, I know it's warming up and you're probably like, why would you buy a leather jacket when it's about to be spring? But it's one of those things, it's really hard to find this when I'm looking for it. And this is exactly what I was looking for, like a dressy jacket. It doesn't get too cold here in Charleston where I really need anything more than this. But I just wanted like a cute, like, jacket that I can throw on when it's cold here where it still looks really nice. So I'm so glad I got it for 30 bucks. It does have like a tie 
to tie around the waist. That just looks so cute. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get any wear out of it probably until next year, but I still love it so much. I just went ahead and picked it up anyway. So if you see this at TJ Maxx, definitely get it because this is seriously so cute. And I love the belt. Like it looks so cute in the store when I tied the belt around it. Adorable. So these shirts that I'm obsessed with, I actually like the little short sleeve shirt better than the bodysuit. Um, it is $48 full price, but it always goes on sale at Express. I actually purchased this on sale, so definitely look out for a sale. It may still be on sale when I link it, so if it is, definitely stock up because these are so, so good. I just got the call that Blissy Girl is all ready, so I'm excited to go pick her up, and the timer just went off for the recipe, so that was like perfect timing. We're gonna pop it out the oven. I'll share it with you guys. It smells amazing. We'll go pick her up, and I'll share her haircut with you guys. So I just got the recipe out of the oven and it smelled so good, you guys. This is definitely a must try recipe for sure. I would go ahead and top this recipe with some feta cheese at this point. I completely forgot to put it on top of mine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the feta cheese as I heat each meal up. But right now I'm checking the temperature to make sure the chicken is fully cooked, which it was. So I baked mine for 40 minutes and it was like the perfect time. The tomatoes and onions were so tender. The chicken was so juicy and flavorful. So definitely try it out either with chicken or some fish. All right, let's try it. Let's get that tomato. Oh, I'll get some onion. It's like really hot. Oh my gosh, you guys, this recipe is a 10 out of 10. It is so, so good. Now, usually I would have this on a bed of like some brown rice. Oh my God, the chicken is so flavorful. Yes. I love when my meal preps turn out good because I did mix up the ingredients. I was hoping it was still good. Um, I didn't end up having to add any chicken stock or anything. I just cooked it in the juice from the olives and there's so much good juice in here. But usually I would serve this on a bed of brown rice, but I'm trying to cut down my carbs this week. So I'm going to um, steam some cauliflower rice in the microwave. I get like a big bag from Sam's Club and then I steam it in the microwave and we're going to have this on a bed of cauliflower rice, just like plain cauliflower rice since this chicken has so much juice. But we're going to do that when I get back from getting Blissy Girl. So let's head out. Lizzie looks beautiful. Good girl, Lizzie. You are gorgeous. Look at you, baby girl. You look so pretty. Lizzie. Hey, baby girl. You got your bows. <laughs> look how beautiful she looks. Lizzie girl. Hey, Lizzie girl. Bark. Say hi. <laughs> she is so excited. You look so pretty, Lizzie. Look at you. Bark. Go ahead, go ahead, Lucy. <laughs> hey, baby girl. <laughs> you like the car ride, Lucy girl. Good girl. We're almost home. You gonna show your brother your haircut? Yeah, you gonna show your brother your haircut. Got your haircut. Yay! <laughs> go, Lucy, go. Look how beautiful you look. Hey, Bent. <laughs> you missed us. Good girl, Lucy. Hey, run, run. Go, Blissy. She looks so cute. You guys see her bows? Hold on, Blissy. 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 Sit. 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 You're so beautiful, Blissy girl. Look how beautiful you are. <laughs> Good girl. I wanted to share with you guys Blissy's new collar. So she actually has the harness to match this that I just took off of her. So I picked this up at PetSmart when we were there and this cute little flower, it has a rhinestone on it. Where's the rhinestone? Rhinestone, did it fall off? There's the rhinestone, how beautiful is that? So this just clips onto the collar. And since she had her bath, we're gonna put it on you. Yay! Lizzie, sit. Sit. That's her. how her collar looks. I can't show them, Lizzie. Hold on. Look how cute it looks. Oh my gosh. That little flower, Lizzie, in your collar. Bentley has his bow tie on. I got his from Amazon. He has like three of them, but this one's my favorite one right now, so he's been wearing this one. You look so cute too, Bentley. Yay! <laughs> this is the rest of Lizzie's cheese chew. It's all natural ingredients. It's dried cheese with salt, 
Um, Bentley doesn't like it. It's too hard for his teeth. Can you guys see that? Is it in focus? But Blissy Girl loves it to clean her teeth. Good girl. Oh, excuse you. All right, you want your cheese chew? You gotta sit. There you go. Here's these cauliflower bags I told you guys about. So I just heated it up. It takes four minutes in the microwave. I pick it up from Sam's Club. It comes in a big bag, and I think it comes with six of these little bags. And they're perfect because we love rice, but it's not the healthiest. So we've been trying to incorporate more cauliflower rice with the recipes. So um, I just steamed two bags, and I'm going to add it to the meal prep. So let's go ahead and get everything added to the containers. So I'm not sure how much this recipe is going to make for meals, but I want to share with you guys my new meal prep containers if you follow me on instagram you've already seen these but they're from amazon i got the 10 pack it comes in a five pack or a 10 pack i just went ahead and got the 10 because i do meal prep for my husband and i um when i meal prep you guys know this already i don't like to make a ton like i don't like to make 10 meals five for me five for my husband i just like to make a few um for each of us so it has the two compartments you can also buy the one with the one compartment and then they have one that has three compartments but i already have some with the one compartment so I wanted the two so I'm gonna put cauliflower rice on that side and then the chicken on this side but yeah they're really good quality I put them in the dishwasher I've used them like three times already and they're seriously great he gets water everywhere does your dog do that literally everywhere why do you have to do that Lissy? I'm glad her floors are waterproof all right Okay, so I went ahead and added all of the food to the meal prep containers. I was able to get six um, meals out of that recipe. Um, I think I used two and a half pounds of meat, maybe three pounds, but um, I just buy a big pack of meat from Sam's Club and like section it off. So I don't know exactly how much it was, but definitely quite a bit of protein. Um, so I was able to get six recipes out of this and then I just used that cauliflower rice that we steamed and I made sure to pour all of that good juice from the recipe in the containers. So that way the chicken stays nice and moist. Here's how the tops look. These containers are so nice. They're probably my favorite meal prep containers that I've owned. I have, um, like I told you guys, I have some that has the one compartment. Um, but these ones are better quality than those ones. So I may order some more of these in the one compartment. And I just love how it stays locked and they're like the perfect size. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I'm getting ready to head out the door, go do a orange theory workout. I'm not looking forward to it. We have a 2000 meter row of benchmark today. So we have to row 2000 meters as fast as we can. So. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it done because I committed myself this week. So we're gonna go there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're actually having some leftovers for dinner tonight. I made some blackened fish last night and I completely forgot we have leftovers so I don't have to cook dinner tonight, which is amazing. Um, so we're gonna have that, but it's so easy to make. If you have any fish in your freezer, just get some blackened seasoning. I use the McCormick blackened seasoning and you just season it on both sides with the seasoning and then garlic and some lime juice and you just sear it in a cast iron pan and it is perfect. So we're gonna have that on a bed of lettuce tonight and I'll probably roast some potatoes as well because we are out of the cauliflower rice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout done and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.